I'm here with Nomi Divine. Hi. The fourth oh. eliminated queen from the Suck You pageant. Nomi, how are we tonight? Feeling it's more stressful watching it than it, to be honest. Right. <laughs> I'm always watching it like, with my fucking heart in my mouth. Yep. What did you think of this most recent episode? Because we just left. <laughs> we just like, observed it. What did you think of what just happened that for the Snatch game? Crazy, iconic. Yes. Some bits. Yes. Questionable. Fringy. It is a really hard challenge. What do you think? What would you, what was your snatch game option? That's my I question. I was going to either do Sally Starshine who's in the best again. Oh my god, that so is like the best. Legend. Sally Starshine snatch game would truly change my life if you yes. had done that. Live singing and everything. Oh, oh love stop! I would have I would have lived so hard if you had done that. Oh my gosh. So you were in four competitive episodes of the Suck You. Yeah, it's lovely for a folk, isn't it? Love. No. Fifth I don't know. I'm dyslexic, I'm sorry. Some, 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 some placement, some placement. Uh, so what do you feel like was the strongest um, performance that you were able to do during your time in the competition? I think I gave a really strong week one performance. Yeah, like, um, the ballet one. Yeah, I was on point, I had tailways, knew the words. Oh yes! <laughs> that's not a dig at anyone, that's... If you watch the episodes, that's a dig at myself. Yo! I knew most of the words. I mean, when I was watching it, it didn't look like you didn't know the words, so I was very taken aback when it was revealed that you did not know all of your words. I was... The receipts were online. <laughs> um, yes, so um, what were you planning on wearing? Um, well, obviously this week didn't have a runway, so I was assuming for Sally Starshine you would have worn... I had the gown. Yeah, the Sally Starshine gown, the, the, the swish swish. Um, but for the final challenge, the ball, what looks did you have prepared to turn for the My Glasgow? Glasgow look was going to be... Four corners, so I was, going oh! to, I was going to have like a corset and like a long dress of like each corner in the corset represent like KFC and all the <laughs> legendary four corners. That is too funny, oh my god. And what would you have done for your candy couture? I was going to go for like a J-Lo look, so it'd be like crushed sweets as a bra with a nice design, and then panels out of crisp wrappers and sweet wrappers. Oh, that sounds uh, sickening. That sounds gorgeous. Uh, and if you could choose a queen for yourself, what queen would you choose? I would like lunch chili. Why would you want Lawrence Cheney? Like a challenge, it's a very hard one. It's a very specific style. And everything's very well tailored and handmade. And Large garments, you know, the, 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 the gowns, darling. Yes. The hems, the hems everywhere. But don't worry, everyone else would be hard as well, but... Who would you, who would you want the least? Him more, probably because we have a similar look. A similar aesthetic, yeah. yeah. That makes complete sense. So now that we're down to the top five, I feel like it'd be shady to ask you who I think, you think the top four is because that would only be one person. I would like Lola, Lola in the top four, but may the best king or queen win and get to them. Totally fair, Anne. So I was going to ask who you think would win, but um, Lola, Lola makes sense, obviously. What was it like to lip sync against Lola? Because obviously you two are very good friends. Oh my god. Because that was hard to watch as an audience member. It was, it was a full like Ruji B moment. I didn't, fully? I am very much got a swinging break and that was emotional. Oh wow, yeah. That was that was uh, really emotional to watch like, for sure. in slow motion flashbacks of me and her making gowns for this, making costumes, packs in the lip syncs, good shot with each other and it was like... Aww. Oh my gosh. What what a moment though, for to be bottom two best friends to, to the ballad. What a, what a moment. Um, so yeah, if you could change one thing that you did in the competition, what would it be? I would fix my comedy mix, give it more of like a punchline. Yeah. And I stressed out about the five minutes that I felt I had to make it five minutes. Yeah. So maybe condense it. That makes sense, yeah. Uh, and what is the thing that you're the most proud of doing? Uh, or, or the look that you're most proud of? Just whatever moment you're the, the most proud I'm of. The look I'm most proud of was my um, burlesque look. That was good, yeah. Because most of the things I did make with help of the rest of the girls. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that's very impressive. I thought that your um your variety show performance was uh, uh, very, very good, actually. I thought that you uh, probably just missed out on being on the top in that one. That was a very, very strong performance. Oh, thank you very much. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's everything. Uh, any words for the children? Any, anything coming up for Nomi Divine in the near future? We are going on tour with a show called Girls Nights nice Inn. Oh, yes. We will, two closest dates are August and September. We'll be in Del Sal and we'll be at the... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The Vesta Girls will be performing next Tuesday, well, this Tuesday coming at, at Trigger. Mother, oh, Mother at Trigger. Trigger. Mother oh, my Tucker. gosh. At Mother Tucker. Sorry. No worries. Um, the midweek shows, midweek war queens, you know. Yes. How it, how it is. Both are amazing shows. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, it's exciting to see more of Nomi Divine in the near future. Definitely. And I feel like you have lots to be proud of, uh, of your run in this competition. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Nomi. Bye.